Hi, and welcome to Photography by Daniel. Uh, this is part three of what I am doing to a, a layered photo here. Uh, as I said in previous video, I did not uh, like this uh, cloud cover very well, uh, which I'm glad when I shot this photo it was like this because I want to kind of illustrate uh, what we could do. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my uh, perfect uh, photo suit seven. Um, and they are constantly running specials on this, so it's really kind of a fun, um, you know, tool to have. <clears throat> and I, I mean, do I use it every day? No, but uh, it's still something you could use. Okay, um, so I want to give this a little bit more of a punchy look. I kind of, you know, contrasted this out quite a bit. Uh, so I want to try to find something that's going to match up with that a little bit. And I saw this earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and select this clown here, and it's going to add a layer. And you know, obviously this does not fit within uh, the parameter that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and just stretch it out just a little bit. I don't need to go over the whole photo, um, but I'm going to then just bring it up a little bit and make sure it's fit edge to edge. If I wanted to fill it in the whole frame of the photo, um, for whatever reason, I could just hit fill right here and it would take care of that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Okay, and then I'm going to drop this down here in the middle between the two. Okay, now before I go into my masking, um, one thing that you, know, you can find yourself very frustrated with is going into your masking and trying to create uh, different clouds or whatever, a background, but you have the wrong layer selected. So I'm going to select the top layer here. Then I'm going to go into my mask and it's going to prepare it here for just a moment. Okay, I'm going to drop my size just a little bit. Um, so I'm going to use my drop, uh, drop brush tool. And uh, so this is really a cool feature within this um, on one. And I'm just going to kind of go around in some different areas and tell it what areas I'm interested in removing cloud cover or that color. It doesn't know, it just sees color. So it's going to go ahead and do that and you can see how quickly it already went out around the edges here. And here, now the trees, that's one thing I had to kind of learn the hard way is when you have, uh, you're doing layers and things, there's easier ways around this um, but we're going to have to discuss that another day. A little bit larger than that, it's so about Okay, let's create our feather a little bit stronger. Okay, as you can see, we have to continue to uh, fill in. And one thing, there's a lot of great tools uh, with masking with uh, Perfect Photo Suit 7. And so, you know, I showed you guys already how you can kind of select the area, it'll do the colors. But um, this is a <clears throat> refine brush tool. And basically, I'm going to select this and go over the areas that I want to uh, refine a little bit more. Uh, I've already used this in between branches to kind of give you a quick example. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is pretty much uh, the final product. This is just um, something that we're having fun with to give you a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of ideas of what you can do. Uh, one thing that I really like about On One Software is they have a lot of training and uh, videos, tutorials, excuse me, and so uh, to really help you hone in on what you're looking to do. Um, so anyways, hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or suggestions. And uh, we look forward to giving you more ideas next time. Have a great day.